We spent the first six months of our startup basically standing outside the post offices in Chicago and trying to get people walking into a post office to use ShipBob. Dhruv Saxena, CEO of ShipBob. ShipBob is a global company that provides direct-to-consumer e-commerce businesses a platform for fast product delivery. ShipBob recently raised $200 million in their Series E round of funding, putting the company's valuation over $1 billion. To date, ShipBob has over 30 fulfillment centers in six countries and over 1,200 employees. Dhruv walked us through his business model and the keys to competing against the likes of Amazon and Walmart. Every time I come here, there are always new and different products on our aisles. Yeah. Be honest, have you ever done a quick snag? No. no. <laughs> if you said yes, I'd be like, eh, that's a little on the fence. <laughs> no, no. Shibab helps small to mid-sized e-commerce businesses get access to best-in-class logistics. So if you're an entrepreneur selling physical products online on your own website, and you wish to have your shoppers get a two-day shipping experience on your own website, you should be using ShipBob to do that. When we started ShipBob in Chicago in 2014, we didn't really have a good way of finding merchants or customers for our product. So we spent the first six months of our startup basically standing outside the post offices in Chicago and trying to get people walking into a post office to use ShipBob. And so our first 50 to 100 users came because me, my co-founder Deve and Jifro literally stood outside post offices to find our early customers. Have you had a moment where you're like, you know, this is, this is like a checkpoint moment that we hit? So in 2017, we wrote an essay internally to our employees as to how do you build a, a billion dollar startup. Last year, sometime mid last year, we actually raised our last round at a billion plus valuation. So seeing that essay actually come to life uh, personally was a very gratifying moment. The best aspect of being a CEO is that you get to create a version of the world that you truly believe in. In our case, it's we are creating Shiba because we believe that a product like ours should exist to help e-commerce businesses. It truly takes a team to build a very successful business. You know, at least I would think that, hey, if I'm a software engineer, if I write the best piece of code, people will just start using the product, but that's really not true. You have to get all of the pieces right, product, sales, marketing, distribution, to really build a real company. How about the best advice that you've ever received? The best advice I've ever received is that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Do you have advice from people like, maybe that you know, not Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I give you an honest answer. What about macro trends in the economy? Do you see, notice anything that would affect your business? This year, everyone has become a supply chain expert simply because there's so much information uh, in the media about it. But that is a real concern for us. For our merchants, majority of the manufacturing happens in China. So it is taking them much longer to get their inventory from China into the US, into our fulfillment centers. I assume artificial intelligence is already integrated in your business and how is it continuing to yeah. expand? So artificial intelligence is a pretty important aspect of it. So there's a reason why this inventory is in Chicago, because our algorithms are helping our merchants decide how much of a product should be placed where in our network. So we have close to you know, 30 plus locations. And so, but it doesn't make sense for an entrepreneur to place inventory in all 30 of our locations. So let's say they are selling a product which is more popular in Texas, then we, our systems and our data science algorithms will tell them, take 200 units of this particular item, put it in a Texas location, take only 50 of that same item and put it in Chicago because the demand is not quite there for your product in Chicago. Which, by the way, is the exact same way that Amazon Prime works. And so, where they figure out where to place that particular product based on demand trends. E-commerce as a portion of overall retail is still 17 to 20% of the overall market. We expect e-commerce to continue growing 
and double digits for the next foreseeable future. So as more entrepreneurs come online and start selling their products through their own website, that should automatically enable ShipBob to participate in this e-commerce boom. What's like your hopes and dreams for ShipBob? We believe we have an opportunity of building a really iconic tech company in Chicago. So when we were in school, we watched Groupon refute like a $6 billion offer from Google and then go and become public. And so for us as engineers, that was the company that we looked up to that we wanted to work at. Groupon allowed us to think, okay, maybe we can actually build something in the Midwest. And so our view is, you know, we have an opportunity of doing that, what Groupon did for us, but do that for the city of Chicago. Chicago summers, you know, the city comes alive. So after a brutal winter, it's so good to see the lakes, to see people out and about. All of my friends who come to Chicago, I take them to the 95th floor on the John Hancock building. It's signature lounge, it has a beautiful view of the city and you don't have to pay any entry fee so you can have a good time and have good views. Do you feel passionate about that, staying in Chicago, being a Chicago company? Yeah, uh, Chicago has been really kind to us. You know, in 2014 when we started the business, our earliest stage, earliest investors were all in the valley. And, and one of the prerequisites for them to fund us was to move and take our business to San Francisco. But our earliest set of users were in Chicago because that's where me and my co-founder's initial network was. And so we said, no, we said, hey, we, we know our customers. Our customers happen to be in Chicago and we love the city. And so we would love to build the company here. And so we feel really proud to be one of those early startups in Chicago.